Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here on the wild adventure of our beautiful plant collecting expedition. We have been working very hard at collecting up lots of beautiful water plants for our Asian river exhibit and oh my gosh it has been so much fun! We have found several new varieties of water plant that we have never ever discovered before and that we have never had in our plant sorting system before so it has been a fantastic success and Mr. Pigu, yesterday we even found a whole bunch of wild poodles so there's a whole little wild poodle pack over there that we'll probably take another look at before we go but we were having a fantastic time i was very careful not to overdo harvesting the plants up in this area because i really love how beautiful they are i love how they look and at first i was like man maybe i should just go ahead and collect a few more and then i found a surprise over there so i'm going to show you guys that surprise and we will probably go gather plenty of water plants from the surprise over that little ridge right there in just a second let's grab lily alia and well zoe sorry alia and lily i'm going to feed them a little bit of the ostrich before we go over and we get sunflower so the girls have been doing really, really good. They have been swimming around. They've been collecting things. <gasps> Zoe, did you find a pretty flower? There we go. Thank you so much, Zoe. It is a lovely flower. It turns out we are in a rainforest, you guys. One of my absolute favorite biomes. <gasps> Look, we stumbled upon a little baby fawn. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Oh, Lily, you startled me just showing up out of the, the blue there. Hello, little fawn. We will leave you alone. But as you guys may know from when we were doing our white tail deer exhibit back in season two, finding a little baby fawn like this kind of left on their own is totally normal. That's not a reason to panic. The deer moms, when the babies are so small they can't really keep up very well, will actually leave their babies hidden in the undergrowth and visit them periodically throughout the day to feed them. And it's considered like a way to stay a lot safer. And deer babies actually are very fascinating because they do not give off very much scent, which is really cool because that's usually what gives away little baby animals is they have a lot of smell. Predators can pick up on that smell. They come and baby animal becomes dinner. But deer, like it little babies they don't give off a lot of scents and they blend in very well so they're able to kind of camouflage themselves both in how they smell and in how they're able to blend in with everything which is really cool because camouflaging yourself is more than just camouflaging yourself in the sense of like how you look it can be in how you smell or for some species of bug or other creatures that try to escape bats they can actually camouflage their shape when the bats use their sonar to try to distinguish the shape of an animal they can disrupt the sonar so that they camouflage themselves by being able to disrupt the way that their shape goes back to the bats so little baby fun thank you for having me go on a little segue talking about all sorts of amazing animal facts thank you very much i'm gonna come over here collect up some of these honey splurges they're some of my favorite plants oh some of, so are these so are these <gasps> and some more of these oh my gosh i love being oh there's one of the poodles Ah, look at the wild poodle. It is just so cool. Look at this. Oh, geez. You know what? I think we'll go on foot. Let me go get Sunflower and put her away inside one of our little... Doo -doo -doo, one of our safari nets so that she is nice and safe. Oh, dear. Uh, I have to sneeze. Puppies. Oh, okay. It's gone now. <laughs> Pushing through my all those plants may have uh, made me need to sneeze for a second. Ooh, more of these pretty things. Oh, come here, duckweed. Dang it, duckweed! Wasn't I just destroying the duckweed? Well, fudge to the knuckles. I really wanted that duckweed, too. All right, let me gather up a few of these lilies. All right, there we go. Hello, sunflower darling! All right, I'm going to put you in the little safari net, okay? There we go. So sunflower goes into the little safari net for a minute. We're going to swim over here. The girls probably have collected so many fish. They're going to need a bath sooner than later. All right pop over here. I love these. These are so pretty. This little water horse tail reminds me a lot of the, um, oh, the snake grass that I used to play with in Utah. If you guys are knowing what I'm talking about, it kind of grows in joints and you can pop it apart and put it back together. Very cool. And apparently you can turn this into strength solve, which I've never heard of. So that would be a really fun thing to grow in our medicinal herb greenhouses. I really think we're going to start like building those greenhouses pretty soon. I love plant collecting expeditions, but it would be so nice. Hello, little fun to know that we aren't over harvesting an area. Oh, <gasps> Look how pretty! Oh my gosh, little, little, like, poodle. You live in a really beautiful area. Look, and this is probably that little fawn's mom. Kind of keeping her distance, just keeping her 
Oh, there's more stuff. Keeping her distance from everything. Oh, there's another baby down there too. And actually that's really common. If the white-tailed deer have twins, they often keep each baby in a separate location because that kind of doubles your chances that if a predator showed up, then at least one of your babies would survive. Oh, and there's a crow. So awesome. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at all these pieces. It's so pretty here. Look at the poodles. There's so many poodles. Is this, no, no, no. Oh my gosh, no, poodles. You didn't need to like have somebody sacrifice themselves here. Oh my goodness, Zoe, no, don't swim in that. Okay, we're gonna plug that up. Zoe, dang it, Lily. <laughs> Every time, Lily. <laughs> Lily, come. Lily, oh dear. All right, we're gonna, all right, Lily, you stay there for a second. We're gonna prevent any more damage to the dogs. No, Zoe, <laughs> happening. If I can just get up here and like plug this up. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that poor poodle. I feel like they, they just felt like the poodle had to... Oh my gosh, my dogs. Oh my gosh, Zoe. Oh my gosh. Lily, how did you... Lily! <laughs> okay, we're fixing this. Oh my goodness. Okay, no puppies. Oh my gosh. What's happening? Lily, for crying out loud, why? She has no sense of safety when it comes to lava. There. We're ending the tyranny here. No longer, no longer, little ones, must you worry and fear from the horrors of, like, the terrible, terrible lava falls. Oh, I don't have any buckets on me. Oh my gosh. Go away, lava. It's gonna take a minute. All right. Lily, there you go. You're no longer on fire. Oh no, 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 no! Little poodles! <laughs> there's only one poodle left! I'm saving it! Oh no, there's a whole bunch of poodles. Never mind. They'll be okay. They'll be okay. The family is here. We just have to wait for the lava to go away. There's more over there! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I need my girls to come out. Lily and Zoe, you two are going to be feeling pretty sorry for yourself. Dang it, Alia! We were almost done with the lava. We were almost done with the lava. At least she's not very badly hurt. All right, everybody, everybody sit. Alia, 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 Alia. What are you doing, Alia? Alia, I don't understand. Are you trying to go in the water again? Alia. Oh my gosh, chaos, sheer chaos. Alia, come. No, 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 no. Don't you dare go back to, by that lava. All right, I'm gonna put you here and you're gonna sit. And everybody's gonna stay here and you're gonna eat some raw pork chop so that you're all healed up. There we go. All right, and everybody, all of my ladies, you guys are all staying here and we're, we're not gonna have any more lava issues. Do you understand? All right, everybody understand? Yep, look at me when I'm speaking, please. <laughs> oh, gracious, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and plug up that other bit of lava because I really hate seeing the poodle like population here suffer. So we're gonna make sure that they don't have to run into any more lava. There we go. That'll plug that up. Oh, there was two holes. Okay, well we got this. And there we go. Did it just burn through? Oh, dang it. I need more, more stone or something. All right, where's my bat pick? Here we go. And all right. I know it's a little bit of a sidetrack, but I just, we have a duty. We have a duty to take care of the wild animals that we run across. And I think that this particular lava flow, I mean, yes, maybe eventually the poodles would learn I should not walk into lava, but it's just not something I want to feel responsible for. Oh my gosh, there's another spot. Ha, the water is winning. Take that, take that lava. Now what are you gonna do, huh? All right, come here, I need that little block. Okay, there we go. And boom. All right, and the girls are healing up. All right, let's see, there we go. I feel much better about this. <laughs> oh goodness, and the poodles can now celebrate a new era of prosperity. Oh goodness. Poodle Falls, that's what we'll call this. One day we'll come back when I have a bucket and make an even bigger waterfall. All right, ladies, you guys need to stay and just sit for a minute. Mom's just gonna collect plants. Oh gosh. And here I was hoping, it was very pretty, but here I was hoping the poodles would be able to, like, withstand that with a little more aplomb. Alright. And the girls should heal up okay. 
as time goes on. Oh, it's so pretty here. Lily, why do you always have to swim in lava? She does have the hell dog ability too, so I'm a little confused about why she took so much damage. Because she shouldn't have. <gasps> Did I just destroy all those caffrodils? You've got to be gentle with your caffrodils, you guys. Gentle. Oh gosh, what's this? Oh goodness, should I be in here without my puppies? I don't know if I should be. This is very, very pretty. How did I have two bat picks? That's never a good sign. Things are getting a little bit interesting. All right, let me see if I can put some of these guys away. Oh, there's my caffrodils. Okay, so that's okay. Yeah, no more double bat picks, so I don't know what that was even about. All right, and there's sunflowers safely tucked away. All right, you guys ready? Almost. You're still a little injured, but we're gonna move and groove just a little bit, and then I'll have you guys sit down. All right, we'll come down here really quick. No blue plants. We're kind of, oh, here's a blue plant. We're kind of looking for these blue plants because we are working on trying to make a lot of blue dye. Um, I wish I had, man, this is really cool looking. Oh, look, there's some of the, the little ore berries and a beautiful blue gem of some kind. All right, hang on girls, hang on. We'll get out of here. We're gonna climb out of here and stick to collecting plants. We might have to come back here and explore around a little bit more in the future though, because this is really cool. All right, let's get the girls somewhere where I can collect plants and they can rest. Um, this seems like a good spot. All right, come here. All right, oh, there we go. Aya, Lily. All right, Zoe, everybody sit and rest. Mom's just gonna collect these plants. So here we have some of my favorite ways to gather up dye because these vine plants grow very, very quickly and you can hang them up and make beautiful gardens all over the place. And all of the, the Wisteria vine plants also will turn into dye. So voila, this one is the royal purple. So you can get the royal like purple dye from it. And I really think that's pretty cool. Uh, so that can happen. And then there should be one, one of the vine plants that actually does light blue right here the blue flowering vine I think we might have some at home but I'm not sure so it would oh I don't think I have any of these white ones Ooh, or these ones oh my gosh there's a green one here yes oh these flowering vines are so useful look there's some clovers growing in the top of that tree up there that is so neat and these ones yeah more green ones I really love the flowering vines. Oh, there's a little bee who has made its home on top of that tree that apparently had to run in with that lava. Oh, gosh. Well, it's so pretty here. I hope the girls are going to feel better soon. Yay, you feel better, ladies. I'm so glad. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving, and then when we get home, we can all rest, okay? All right, whoops. Sorry about that. You doing okay, Zozo? You doing okay? All right, yeah, all the girls seem to be doing all right. And let's see. Woo! Sorry about that. There was a little bit of a hiccup. There you go, Zozo. Oh my gosh, it's yellow ones! I don't think I have yellow flowering vines. Oh, and look at all the blue plants. Yes! Yes, blue plants. Oh, and clovers. Clovers are so good. Oh, guys. We're gonna have so much to add back over to our... Oh, there's such pretty plants down here. And here's the surprise! Here is the area that I saw these and I was like, oh, we're not gonna need any trouble. Like, we're not gonna have any trouble gathering enough water plants this time around. I would still absolutely love to be able to get a um, a greenhouse of some kind that can like sell some of these water plants going. So that's still something I want to do. And when I was looking up pictures of what a greenhouse that grows aquatic plants looks like, it is so cool, you guys. I really, really am excited about building, like you have big tubs of water that you put down and like you just let the plants grow in that. Oh, there's so many chocobo over here. This is so cool. Uh, so like there's just big giant tubs of water and you grow the plants inside those big tubs of water And it just looked really really awesome. So many Amazon ferns. This is amazing absolutely fantastic And it just looked so much fun And so now the question is where should I build a greenhouse? It needs to be decently sized not huge But it's not gonna be like a small little shop building either because it needs to have enough space to have Examples of all of the specimens. Oh, no, I'm leaving plants behind. That's one of the worst things to do Don't leave your plants behind. All right. Can I put anything away? Do 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 don't need those oak leaves don't need that grass Um, let's see Tate's backpack. There we go All right, let's dive on in. I'm leaving so many plants behind. Oh gosh, gotta pick all these up. But yeah, it was just really fun to see the way that you build up big tanks. Oh, what's happening? 
Everybody's okay? I have all three puppies? Where is Lily? Alia and Zoe. I've lost my Lily girl. I need to go back and see if she just never stood back up. Which sounds terrible. I mean, if like she's still sitting. <laughs> never stood back up sounds so much more dramatic. Oh gosh. All right, here's some Panama Queens. Some these guys. All right, we will gather plants our way back to Lily and then work our way back home. Because I love plant expeditions and I love seeing the way the wild animals. Oh, here's another beautiful plant. Come to me. Tell me I got it before a goat did. I did. I got the wildflower before the goat did. Thank goodness. All right, Lily. Lily. Man, I could really have a bit of trouble finding her in here if I don't remember exactly where I was. I'll just have to look for the trail of obviously. There you are, Lily. Come on, silly girl. Trail of obviously collected plants. All right, there we go. Wonderful. Oh, and I'm really hungry. <laughs> so we're gonna eat some pumpkin pie. And I'm feeling pretty good about this, you guys. We've gathered up so many plants. We see so many more. And I really am coming away from all of this just with the thought that, I oh, look at all this tropical blue bamboo. Just with the thought that I really want to make sure that we have uh, some greenhouses. And now the question is, how are we going to build those greenhouses? Where are they going to be located? Um, what kind of prices should we set with the NPCs? What kinds of tasks could we do to earn zookeeper experience uh, working at the greenhouses? You know, practical things like that. I really like it because I just don't want to deforest our entire world because it's so beautiful just to look around. I know, right, wild chocobo? <laughs> It's so beautiful just to be able to look around and see all of the different plants and see all like the poodles the wild pack of poodles that was roaming around and just how they're enjoying life. Oh gosh. The way that there's a chia in the distance over there too. That's so neat. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll swim across this just one last time. I'm pretty sure for now we have enough plants to work on our exhibit because we've gathered up quite a few. There's tons and tons below us. I'm sure the girls have picked up quite a few too. So at least we can finish the the river exhibit before we start working on actually building the greenhouse. So that's definitely something we can do. All right, there we go. Plenty of plants. I'm definitely gonna mix in some sand. Hello, Alia. Definitely gonna mix in some sand and maybe some gravel because someone suggested putting gravel in, like the way the fish would use gravel to collect up rocks and make little nests for their eggs sometimes, depending on the fish species. Definitely gonna get you, you're so pretty. Can you imagine having an appetite greenhouse? That would be so much fun. Like I don't wanna take away the fun of plant collecting because it really is amazingly, fantastically fun to just go on these plant collecting expeditions. But at the same time, I just don't want to deforce the whole world and take away the beauty of the server. You know what I mean? So we're going to find a nice balance. We are. And I'm just not sure, like, where to put the greenhouses. But that is a question for another day. And we'll worry about that after we finish building our absolutely adorable little exhibit. So I think we're just about done going around the edges here. Come here, little horse telly things. Just about done. It looks like the rainforest does continue in this direction. We really didn't go that far from home. I don't see any of the light. Oh, there's a little fox. Hi, little buddy. <gasps> and look at all those Madagascar palms. Oh, I need to go collect up a few of those. I was kind of hoping. Oh, and there's a lion. That is really awesome. I was really hoping we would find some of the light blue. There it is. All right, ladies. I think it is time to pull Sunflower back out. Oh, and it's raining in the rainforest. How appropriate. Yeah, I think it's about time to pull Sunflower back out so that I can go ahead and come here. Zoe, in you go. Lily, in you go. That's cute how she like walked under the tree for getting out of the water. All right, Alia, in you go. We're going to tuck the ladies safely away so that our puppies are like safely in our backpack. It's always scary. Like if something happened to the backpack, would something happen to my girls? Sort of feeling to put them in there. But we're gonna go ahead and jump on Sunflower and we're gonna fly up there. Oh, look at this. Now this is pretty. So pretty, right Sunflower? And we're gonna fly up here and collect this vine because I'm pretty sure, it, yep, it's the blue flowering vine. Is this the one we needed? Light blue dye. There we go, you guys. 
we've now got what we need to be able to make the rest of our exhibit. So good. All right, Sunflower. Let's wiggle our way out of here. And I think it's just time to work on flying home. Oh, man, it's so pretty here. Oh, I know we gathered everything we need. I know we've seen all of the plants, but I tell you what, guys, I'm really excited to come on another expedition because these are just so much fun. But all right, we'll sort through all of our awesome treasures. We will make sure we have everything we need to really get the exhibit done, and we will get totally working super hard, super fast on the plant, uh, or on the uh, river ex or exhibit <laughs> and plant expedition. I, I, you can tell where my heart wants to be, Sunflower, doing more plant expeditions tomorrow. But we'll be working on the river exhibit tomorrow, possibly talking about some of the amazing species of fish that we will one day have in our beautiful exhibit and in our other exhibits that we're going to be building and maybe putting that baby zombie where he needs to go for the baby zombie daycare so i'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye